This poem is called Gummy Bears. I always was pretty certain of the road I needed to take. Laid out before me, it couldn't be mistaken. Stumble, even if I stumbled, like I just did. This poem is called Gummy Bears. I always was pretty certain of the road I needed to take. Laid out before me, it couldn't be mistaken. If I stumbled, even handrails were available. So why is it I sit tonight and don't know where to go? I'm surrounded by my plunder, shelves of books, yet they yield me nothing, and some are even too heavy to hold. I'm afraid today, perhaps as fever has left me, it's reduced me to ashes. You know that useless feeling, too sick to care, well enough to feel the boredom of staring at the ceiling, YouTube videos causing headaches. Nothing appetizing except gummy bears stuck to a lemon ice bar. Why not? And even that, in its imagining, well, the luster is wearing off. I know as I heal, I'll be okay. The yawning boredom is a blip. I'll see the road again as a promise to justify new super cool tennis shoes. But right now, I look at this picture and in the distance is a figure. Right now, tonight, I can't catch up. Maybe the beauty of the moment is the way the shadow stretches. Or maybe it's the bars of my prison. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I reach into the bag. I bite off one and then another. Gummy bear heads. They are bloodless. I guess I should appreciate the little things as I then bite off their tiny little legs. Tomorrow will be better, I'm sure, though. I'll avoid the afternoon on this stretch of road, and the shadows with their padlocked lines I'll also avoid. Sometimes I think it's okay to walk another way. I gulp down bellies till I'm full.